person. GDPR is probably the best representation of really good, stringent, proper consumer privacy data controls that exist. So even if you're not compelled to abide by GDPR, it's a great roadmap and it's a great model to follow because yep. it's just good data discipline. Yep. Uh, we also have you know, the good fortune in Informatica that some of the leading healthcare organizations in the country are our customers and they happen to have footprints in Europe. And so they do in fact have a GDPR challenge. You know, do I have a patient from the EU that's coming to my US-based facility? Do I have a US-based patient that's in an EU facility? Do I have an EU licensed provider, right? The complexity of the GDPR challenge for some of our US-based healthcare customers is pretty involved and they're acutely aware of it. So, so I don't think there's been anything like GDPR in terms of data protection that's existed in healthcare. GDPR, by the way, is a data problem. So GDPR is not necessarily a compliance security problem because you want to understand which data pass through boundaries, who's accessing it, it's a true data problem. So today, I mean, in fact, at the, at the Informatica World, you have customers like PayPal talking about their journey with us on GDPR. And so you begin with the catalog, and then we have, we have three products that help in the, uh, govern, uh, in the GDPR journey, the catalog, secured source, and the data governance axon product. And again, each company's GDPR implications are slightly different. And there are companies, as I said, like Master, like uh, PayPal, that are using uh, our products to uh, run the GDPR activity right now. It's a so we are seeing that going through the roof. And in fact, one of the big use cases for Catalog has been in the context of governance and GDPR. The introduction of GDPR this year really brings a spotlight onto all the data privacy issues that we have to deal with around the world. Um, but I, I think we have a fundamental problem with security, which is it's still this baked on, add on, um, a, a thing that's applied to your applications. And instead, we actually need to look at programming languages and the apps that you write as being security proof um, from the very beginning. And, and, and that's going to require a programming language to do that at the lowest level and the OS as well. How is Ballerina handling it up? Are they doing it up front? Is it, what's the? Well, our approach to it is that we assume all data is tainted and that the developer has to explicitly say this is safe data uh, to avoid uh, intrusion attacks on that. And so the compiler will actually reject any code that is not explicitly um, uh, given that task. Yeah. Very simply, what does GDPR promise, right? It's restoring the fundamental rights of data subjects in terms of their ownership of their data and the processing of their data and the ability to know how that data is used at any point in time. Now imagine if you're a data scientist and you could, for a problem that you're trying to solve, have the same kind of guarantees. You know all about the data, you know where it resides, you know exactly what it contains. They're very similar, you know, they both are asking for the same type of information. So in a sense, if you solve the GDPR problem well, you have to really understand your data assets very well. Mm -hmm. And you have to have it governed really well, which is exactly the same need for data scientists. So in a way, I see them as, you know, they're twins separated at some point, but 